Grok Multimodal helps you to create super fast application using image and text. You are able to input image and text that will be fed to the Lava model. That is a multimodal model now inferencing from Grok. Then that will describe what is in that image. Then that description is sent to the Lama 3.1 model and then you are able to create a storybook from that. The execution of this is going to be super fast because now the multimodal model that is Lava is available in Grok Cloud. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you multimodal support in Grok, which means you're able to add text and image. We've already seen about Lava, Large Language and Vision Assistant. This is one of the top performing vision language model. And you can see it's one of the top among the open source vision language models. Using this model, it can answer questions based on image content, generate text description of the image, identify text in image, engaging in conversation that involve both text and images. So the use cases involves visual question answering, image captioning, multimodal dialogue system, and accessibility. You can log into Grok Cloud and choose the Lava model, as you can see here. Then you can drop an image here. So I've added this image. I'm going to ask, describe about this image. So here we can see we are providing image and a text as input and then clicking Summit. And now you got the response instantly. The image features a large muscular bulldog standing in a grassy field. You can see the number of tokens per second. That is 457 tokens per second. This will speed up your application. Now we can implement and integrate this in your application. As a use case, we are going to ingest an image and text, same as we did before, and feed that to Lava model. Then that Lava model describes what's in that image. Then that image is fed to Lama 3.1 to create a storybook. I'm going to take you through step by step, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. If you haven't signed up for Grok, you should be able to sign up and generate your API key here. This involves three different steps. The first is configuration. This includes image encoding, which I will show that in a minute. After that image to text and then text to story. So coming to your terminal, this you can use from VS Code or Mac terminal or any other Linux terminal and export your Grok API key like this and then click enter. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, first configuration. Now let's import Grok, then import base64. Now initiating client equals Grok, then providing the Lava model and also Lama 3.1 model. Now image encoding. So generally, these large language model doesn't understand image, but it understand numbers. So we need to convert this image to numbers. That's called image encoding. We're providing the image path and then creating a function called image encode. We are opening that image here and then converting that to base64 encode. So this could be mix of number and text. Next, we are going to encode the image and then save that in this variable. So this is the basic configuration. So we've just initialized the models and then converted the image to base64. Next, converting image to text. That means we are going to add both image and text and then asking the Lava model to convert to text. So we are going to complete this whole process. So next step, image to text function. Here we are creating a function called image to text and we are initializing the function that is chat completions create. Here we are providing the image URL that is the base64 version and also we are providing a prompt. This is the text, so image and the text. Here we are defining the model that is the Lava model and returning the response. Now we are adding the prompt that is the text describe this image and then we are triggering the function with the client, the model name, base64 image and the prompt. So we are sending the image and the prompt that is text and calling this function and that will return what is in that image. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, pip install grok and then click enter. Now python add py and then click enter. Now you can see it explains what's in that image. The image features a white puppy and it gives more information. 
So my image is in the same folder, as you can see here, labradoodle.png, and here is that image. So this is what got described here. Next, we need to send that description to this llama model to generate the storybook. So now let's do this part. So step number three, text to story. Now next, we're going to create a function called short story generation. So we're just passing the image description and telling the llama 3.1 model, that's what we defined here, to write a short story based on the image description and finally returning the response. Now let's put it all together. First, let's try with one image that is single image processing. So we're going to send one image and then create a story. So this is the prompt. Next image description. After that, just printing for our reference and then printing the image description. Now the short story, triggering the story generation function with the image description. So we are passing the image description to the story generator function, which means the image description will come here and it will use the model and return the story. So that's what's happening here. Similarly, if you want to process two images at a time, it's just multiple image processing, adding two images and converting that to base64, then converting those images to text using the image to text function which we generated earlier. That is the first function which we created. Next, same as before, printing those description for our reference. Now let's combine the description, that is combined image description, image description one plus image description two. Then after this, asking it to create short story with the combined image description, as simple as that. So first we created a short story with single image, then we created a short story with two images. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Now for the first image, I've got the description here. Then based on this description, we are creating a short story and you can see the story here. For multiple image, here we got the first image description and here we got the second image description. Using those image description to create a short story based on Husky and Bulldog. A journey to the rocky peak and I've got the story here. Similarly, you are able to integrate this multimodal model using Grok API in your application and it is super fast. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.